Hello, everyone. I'm Reverend Richard Miner. I'm the Graduate Engagement Officer here at One Spirit Learning Alliance in New York City. And it is my great pleasure to be here today with Reverend DeShannon Barnes Bowens. DeShannon, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me, Richard. It is such a pleasure to have you here with me today. You have an amazing list of credentials, and you are going to be teaching a really fascinating class here at One Spirit. Uh, just to let our viewers know a little bit about you, you were ordained as an interfaith minister here in uh, 2010, and you are currently serving as a first-year dean. Uh, you are also a psychotherapist. You are an initiated Orisha priestess and owl in the Yoruba tradition uh, of Ifa, which originated in southwest Nigeria. And you also founded a consulting education service of Ilira. So you've been very, very busy and you've done lots of amazing things. Uh, and we're excited because you're gonna be here teaching a class called Power, Purpose and Healing Through African Spiritual Wisdom. Now, this sounds like a fascinating class. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Absolutely. So to start off, let me just say that anybody who's interested in indigenous wisdom, please come. We would love to have you in this class because Turning to ways of the earth, to nature, is so important to us at this time. So power, purpose, and healing through African spiritual wisdom. I'm going to break this down into three components. First, let's start with power. When I mention power, I'm talking about our ancestors, looking to the wisdom of those that came before us, and sharing some wisdom from the Yoruba culture in my practice of Ifa in terms of how we connect to our ancestors and the benefit of ancestral wisdom. So that will be the first piece that we'll do. The second piece is focused on purpose. Some people wanna know, well, what is my purpose? Am I living on purpose? And in this class, I'm gonna share with you some of the tools that we use in this mm -hmm. tradition to mm -hmm. help us determine how, how, how are we living our lives day to day to determine if we're on purpose or not. For people who already know their purpose, you're gonna get more clarification confirmation and affirmation, but we're going to talk about purpose in depth. And then the third component in regards to healing, sometimes what we haven't healed can actually diminish our power and mm -hmm. keep us from living on purpose. And in these times in this country and throughout the world, people need to be back in touch with what their true source of power is, that they have a divine purpose in being here, and that through healing and releasing what doesn't serve us, we can create the world that we want in our individual lives and for the communities that we love and serve. So this, in a nutshell, is the focus of the class through the lens of indigenous African spirituality. Well, this sounds like this is going to be a really, really beautiful experience. Can you tell me a little bit about what the actual class is going to be like? What, what kind of modalities will you be using during the class? Oh, sure. So first of all, there will be some lecture, but I promise you all who are coming, it is not going to be seven and a half hours of lecture because I wouldn't want you falling asleep. So we will do some meditation. We will do some journaling. We will do some ritual. And you'll also be able to interact and share with each other in small groups. So all of this will come together focusing on those three components of power, purpose, and healing. Wow, that sounds amazing. And it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun as well. Uh, I know we are really looking forward to having you here because you always do a wonderful, wonderful job. And it is, we're grateful that you're sharing your wisdom with us here. Uh, it's going to be happening Saturday, April 28th from 9.30 to 5 p.m. here in the classroom in New York City. It will also be available uh, via Zoom if you can't make it to New York City. And then it'll also be available via digital download after the class. So, uh, to Shannon, thank you so very much for joining me. And I will look very much forward to seeing you around One Spirit. Awesome. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Bye-bye.